All right, good Sunday morning to everybody. A little rainy and cloudy here, but as promised, we're headed to Tiltonsville. We're gonna take you to the Indian Mound Cemetery. Yes, Hutch Hutchson's? Hutchson's. So, stick around. We'll be right back. All right. So here we are at the uh, Hodgkin's Hutchins. Indian Mound Cemetery, Tiltonville, and that's the mound. That's it right there. So for you, those of you who don't know, this is um, an Indian burial mound. This is in Tiltonsville, Ohio. I forget how we came across this originally. Did we? No, that's what I was even going to ask you one time. How did we? I think we went to Moundsville, West Virginia, the prison, and they have... Which the, could be a future trip. The mound there, and then we've started looking. There's one here, one in another town. Uh, it is Just a small cemetery. Here by the, what the Anglicanized word of for this tribe is the Incadena people. Um, so they, they were the mound builders in this part of Ohio. And when you think of the how how a prehistoric tribe buried their dead in there and how they had to carry the dirt to build this mound and layer people in there is just fascinating. It's amazing. It's just I don't know. It's just something. And this again is just one of those things that unless you are looking for it or research it, you just go past it. Yeah. I mean, and the cemetery was just built around this. Now there are some stones on the mound. Yep. Would that would that be like would that be like um ancestors of the people of the tribe or because I don't I don't think you'd wanna I mean at least a lot of the ghost hunting shows that we watch and everything and the few times we've gone ghost hunting you don't want to disturb something like yeah, this. Yeah, you don't want to be Carol Ann. Yeah, no. And he was telling me there's, there's one in another town just up the road from here. Looks like they built a house. And somebody built a house on top of it. Hello. Don't turn on the TV. Um, the movie Poltergeist just comes to mind right now. But, um... This is a small town. Every every person in the neighborhood. Well, good for them. Us. But um, yeah, you wouldn't want to disturb the ground here of the Indians. That's now, why I want to. My understanding here, I mean, settlers buried people at the foot of this, maybe somewhat up far. This has never been disturbed. If I'm understanding right, and someone please correct me if you know about this and you're wrong. Um, this was listed as a historical site in 1975. No bodies have been pulled out of there, but they have seen remains due to erosion and everything was left intact. So at least they respected what it was. I don't think when the cemetery was here that they, look at that mushroom, that they, <laughs> squirrel, knew what they were doing. <laughs> but it is fascinating. Well, it's, it's fascinating. It's a culture. pretty pretty big size cemetery again like we said this is one of those areas that unless you know it's here you drive right by it and it's a historical monument so
So with that, don't stay on the beaten path. Stray from it for a while. You never know what you're going to run into. And as always, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for those that have been with us since day one. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. All right. So we made it a little extra stuff today. We uh, also came down here to Pike Island, the uh, lock and the dam area. Little fish fishing pier. We're gonna come down here first. Yeah. I think it's a little like a little picnic area around. Again, just one of those areas you gotta come off the beaten path and you'll find it.